In this Studio 3T Highlights video, we'll do a demo aggregation using the dollar lookup operator. The dollar lookup operator performs what's known as a left outer join between two different collections by adding data from a lookup collection with that of an input collection that's being queried and creating a combined output collection as its result. Note, in order to perform this, both the lookup and input collections need to be in the same database. In this demo, we'll be using the Customers Collection as our input collection and the Chicago Affordable Housing Collection as our lookup collection, with the goal of comparing the zip codes from both of the collections to find some shared information. To begin, go to the Collection tree and select the Customers Collection. Then, click the Aggregate button in the Global Toolbar. This launches the Aggregation Editor in its own tab. Now, change the default Pipeline Stages operator from $Match to $Lookup by clicking on the Operator drop-down menu and selecting $Lookup. Let's just quickly go back to the Collections tree and double-click on the Customers Collection to open it. As we can see, it has a field called address.zip underscore code. Similarly, if we now open the housing collection, we see that it too has a field simply named zip underscore code. We can join the two collections temporarily together using the shared zip underscore code field and then combine the two datasets into a single output result. Now let's begin with writing the dollar lookup query. In the stage one pipeline, the dollar lookup requires we define the query by replacing the placeholders, including the angled brackets. The from field specifies the lookup collection to perform the join with. In this case, housing is the name of the housing collection. And we'll need to define the local field, that is, the field that our input document will use in the equality match, which is address.zip underscore code. In addition, we'll also need to define the foreign field, our lookup document, which is simply zip underscore code. Lastly, we'll need to create a new field in our aggregation output collection. This is defined by the as field. You can name this new field whatever you like. For now, let's just call it affordable housing. This will become a new field in our resulting output document. Take note, if this specified field name should already exist in the input document, it will be overwritten. So choose something unique. Now, at the bottom, let's select the Stage Input Output tab and run the Stage 1 input on the left and check the data that we're sending to the dollar lookup query. Now, run the Stage 1 out on the right. The best way to visually check our results is to use Table View. We'll scroll right until we see our new field, Affordable Housing. Remember, we only have affordable housing information for Chicago zip codes, all of which start with 6-0 so not all customers will have these values for the new field we're creating. Next, click on the Field column header at the top to list our results in descending order. Now, scroll up and back left, and you should see Mrs. Maria Kelly as the first resulting document. Right-click it and choose Document, View Document, JSON. A Document JSON viewer opens. Expand for a larger view you'll find one affordable housing option, Alfie Grills, appended at the bottom of her JSON document. Dollar lookup job well done! Please see the next video in this series, Dollar Match, which will show you how to performance tune our dollar lookup query so it runs five times faster. Also, please see our other highlights videos on getting more from MongoDB with the power of Studio 3T. Thanks for watching and happy aggregating!